on the channel today. Let's have came to shoot up. Okay? If it's the first time of joining us, thank you for uh, visiting our channel. Like, comment, and share this video. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say um, a very big thank you for your support in all our endeavors. Okay? So we are on Instagram, um, TikTok, uh, Facebook, and also YouTube. So you can like, comment, and share our videos. Okay? So today I want to see um, um, a topic on issue of shares, a question. Actually, this question was uh, from the previous, uh, this recent YM 2021 in accounting. So I came across this question uh, in the YM 2021. Okay? So I saw something like this and it relates to an issue of shares. So uh, I thought it wise to do a video on it. Because I've seen some persons asking uh, questions or topic on relating to issue of shares, okay. But in the next video, um, I'm going to um, I'm going to um, start from the scratch, start from the scratch as regard issue of shares and company what account. But today we want to see on how to solve this question. This was exactly what was said in Wayek 2021. So if you are doing this topic or you want to know more about the show of shares and you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe to the channel now so that when I start uh, by going to the introduction video on issue of shares and company account you will not miss out okay like um, comment subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell now let's see this question the question says the authorized capital of Bob's company limited is 200,000 ordinary shares. A company decides to issue 180,000 of the share at $2 on the following terms. $0.40 on application, $0.70 on announcement, and $0.90 on first and final call. Okay, so it said applications was received for 200,000 shares on June 20, 2019. An announcement made on June 30, 2019, on which date excess application money were returned to unsuccessful applicants. And it said the first and final call was made on July 26, 2019. All installments were received on due dates. You are required to prepare a bank account, ordinary share application account allotment account, first and final call account, and ordinary share capital account. Now, issue of shares is very wide, I must confess to you, and it is very simple, if you can understand that, okay? So, it's talking about uh, um, a company and its own shares. Now, shares is a unit of capital owned by an individual in the company. The holders of shares are called the shareholders. So, I said I'm going to, I'm going to treat this in details in an introduction word video okay so uh the said the authorized capital of bob's company limited is 200,000 ordinary shares now what is authorized capital this is that total amount that a company is allowed that the state in their memorandum of association in which a company is allowed to what issue out okay so a company can decide to issue out below the authorized capital but it cannot issue above the authorized share capital okay so now they said they have authorized share capital of 200,000 but they said they decided to issue 180,000 so they issued below they are allowed okay but they cannot issue 300,000 shares why what was authorized for them is what 200,000 okay so they decided to issue this so and they want to sell the share each of the share for $2 and they divided it a different installment. The first one is what application, allotment, and what first and final call. Now, what you have to do in solving question related to issue of shares, now you sum up this total amount to see if it equates with what they are the price they want to issue at. If it is more than, it means that there might be a premium. If it is less than, it means it might be a discount. But if it is the same in, as regards the nominal and what they are issuing out, it means it is what? At par. 
Okay, that's three ways they can issue one shares. We're gonna treat that also. So if you sum up this, it will give you two dollars. It means it's at par. Okay. So now this statement they say the application was received for two hundred thousand, but they issued, they decided to issue one eighty. It means they had more people that applied than what they issued. Okay. So in uh, terms of issue of shares, we call that oversubscription. Okay. We'll see that in details when people apply for more than the issue out. So they said an allotment was made. So now they said excess application money was returned. So if you see, they receive application of 20,000, that is those that wrote application and they will pay a certain amount of money in this installment to the bank of the old company in question. Okay? And said, okay, uh, they want to become a part of. Uh, of the shareholders of that company. So they said they received 200,000, but what they are allowed to issue, or what they issued out is 180,000. It means they have 20,000 in excess, okay? So they return back the 20,000, okay? So, and also they said the first and final call was made. So they are asking us to prepare all this. Now what do we do? And the first thing I advise students to do whenever I take this topic is, first of all, Treat the adjustment, understand it. Now, if we want to start with this, now we said it is Bob's Bob's Company Limited. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we want to get the actual application amount. So we have for application, uh, this is a working application. Now, they said this is the amount they are supposed to pay on installments, that is $0.40 times. Now, they say they receive application for 200000 Now, I want to know the actual amount. This is 200,000 shares, not $200,000. Okay? 200,000 shares. Initial of shares, we should, we should be very careful when they are referring to shares and an amount. They are two different things. Okay, so they said they receive application of 200,000 shares. So it means that these 200,000 people paid on this amount on application first. Okay, so it means so times it by 200,000. Okay, so 0 0.40 times 200,000 200, shares will give us 0 0.40 will give us 80 thousand dollars okay eighty thousand what dollars now that is on application and the next one they also said an allotment was made now they only allot on the one the number of shares they issue okay so if you check here you see they issue out one eighty thousand okay so it means our allotment money or the form of allotment will be on what was issued not on the application, the total of the application, okay, because they might receive in excess. So the allotment will be on that issue. So the issue one eighty thousand. So we are going to calculate the zero point seventy for allotment. So this will be for allotment equals zero point seventy times one eighty thousand shares that was issued. Okay, so if you do that, you have $126,000. The next one, now from this statement, they said uh, allotment made on June 30, 2019, on which date excess application money were returned. Excess application, I said that before. That is when people uh, apply for more than what was issued. They, are, they issued 180, but what applied was 200,000. So the excess is what? 20,000. Okay? So I'm going to, that means they refund back to 20,000 people. I said, okay, take back your money. We have more than enough. So that same amount, it will not be application refund. Application refund. Okay? So it will be on that same application amount because that was the amount they paid for the shares. So it will be 0 0.40 times the excess of 
what was received and what was actually issued. That's the SS application. That is 20,000. Okay? So this will give us $8,000. Okay? So that's the application. And the last one is they said, uh, okay, the first and final call was made on July 26. So they received all this money, the total of all this and installment. So the first and final call is this, with a zero for $90. So the first and final call also will be on the um, total issued shares. So I'm going to write the first and final is equal to zero point ninety dollar times one eighty thousand. So zero point ninety dollar times one eighty thousand will give us one sixty two thousand. Okay. So this is the working. So they said we should prepare the bank account. Now all this money, all this money will not be paid by cash. Okay, so it will be paid to the company's bank account. So we want to solve a start now. We said bank account, bank account. Now, now let's take it this way. If uh, someone that wants to become a prospective shareholder in a company, in a company, now they want to pay on application. It means that they will pay this amount, 0.40, we fabricated it in there. They will pay this amount to the bank. So the bank of the company is receiving the one, the money. So remember our double entry, whatever is received is what debited. So we are going to debit what the bank account on what application. So they said the application was received on June 20, 2019. So we'll have 2019, uh, dollar 2019. Dollar. So we have June 20. So we have uh, application. So application is how much? $80,000. That's the first one. Also, they paid on what? Allotment. Okay. So allotment, they said is on June 30. So we have June 30. Allotment. They pay the instrumentally, okay? So if they are paying on allotment, it means they are paying to the bank, the bank is also receiving it. So one twenty six thousand dollars. And also they said unsuccessful on which date excess application money were returned to unsuccessful applicants. So uh, the receipt in excess of uh, what was issued, okay? So they refund back the money. And we have calculated the application refund. So if they are refunding back the money, it means that they are going to pay, and it is from the bank now that will pay back the unsuccessful applicants. Okay? So if the bank is paying the money, it's crediting or it's giving. And our double entry, credit the word giver. So application refund will be here. So right um, on that same date, who is on this same June 30, you can write refund. Reforms. How much is it? Eight thousand dollars. Okay. So the last part is said. The first and final call was made on July twenty-six. On July twenty-six, twenty nineteen. Okay. So this is now July twenty-six. So we have first and final. How much is it? One sixty-two. Okay, so that is all what consigns the bank. So we're going to add, we're going to add this, and add this, we're going to have 368,000, which normally we're supposed to have the same 368,000. So in this we have a balance here, so we have balance carried down. This is 8,000 minus 8,000 will give us what? 360,000. Okay, so that is for bank. That's all. Very simple. So the next one, they said uh, the ordinary share application accounts. So it will not be our 
ordinary share application account. Okay, I want to show the ledger entries. So, twenty nineteen uh, dollar, twenty nineteen uh, dollar. Now, ordinary share application accounts comprise itself what the account of all what applicants. Okay, so it means that we are preparing on behalf of the what the applicant. So they paid. If they are paying to the bank to the company's bank account, it means the account is also what credited since the what debited here. So on that same date, it will not be June twenty. All right, bank. Okay, because paid to the bank eighty thousand. Dollars. That was what was paid. So now, when they paid the money in excess, the bank refunded them. Refunded them. So the bank was what credited. So the refund is coming back to the application. Okay, we is still on that same July thirty. So it is still bank. But this one is what refund. Okay, it is still bank. What is what eight thousand. Dollars. Okay. Now to make this two balance, now it will not be our our ordinary share capital because the essence of paying that money is what to get um, shares. So it will be the balancing figure will not be our ordinary share ordinary share capital, which is seventy two thousand. So if we add up, this will give us eighty. And this is what eighty thousand, okay? Because that's supposed to have the same balance. So eighty thousand minus this will give you a balance of figure, okay? So that's for application. And the next one is said prepare the what allotment what accounts. So the same way we have our allotment account. So our allotment account. The same way they pay instrumentally, they pay for application, the allotment will send someone that issued and we have calculated it already and posted to the bank account. So the corresponding entry is at the credit side of the allotment account. So this is 20, 2019, this is dollar. So it is paid in June 30. The amount is paid to the bank and it is 126,000. Okay, so if the payment is six thousand, it means they have to get what the shares worth that amount. So it's also twenty nineteen. So we have ordinary share capital with the same amount as one twenty six thousand. So we we'll close this and we'll close this. So there's no balance. So that's ordinary share capital balances up. So the next one is. First and final call account. So the same way we have our first and final call account. The first and final call account. Okay. So the same way they also pay the first and final call one sixty two. So twenty nineteen and first and final call will pay July twenty six. So they pay to what? The bank. How much is it? One sixty-two thousand. Okay. So they also receive shares. Shares. What's that amount? Okay. With ordinary share of how much? That's a one sixty-two thousand. To close it. Okay, so the next thing is to prepare our ordinary share capital. Okay, so let's prepare the ordinary share capital. Uh, let me finish part. Now, preparing our ordinary share capital, we we'll have ordinary share capital.
Now the ordinary share capital, I will check all this part. Now we are going to bring out ordinary share capital. Now we have ordinary share here, ordinary share, ordinary share. The corresponding entry comes to the credit side because this was the share capital which would what giving as regards what the instrumental payment of what each of the accounts. So we have the first one. Now this is 2019. This is July 31. So the first one will be on application. Okay. So application is how much? 72,000. The next one is what? On allotment. Allotment is how much? 126,000. Okay. Why the last one is first and final call. Which is what? 162,000. I add this up. We are having 000. zero, zero. This is zero. This is six. And this is three. That's 360,000. So to make them balance, we have balance carried out $360,000. So this is $360,000. Okay, this is what's given out of the shares to each of them. Okay, so that is the ordinary share capital. Now, they did not ask us to prepare balance sheet, but let us prepare balance sheet. Let me show, show you something to see if what we did was actually correct. Okay, so uh, let me clean the facts. Okay, now, I think we were actually prepared the balance sheets. Look at how it will appear. I have my balance sheets. Now, this part will have authorized share capital. Now, the authorized share capital, you will put there what was authorized for them. So it will be 200,000 ordinary shares at $2 each. Okay, because the nominal price is what $2. So 200,000 ordinary share was what was authorized. Remember the question, okay? So 200,000 times $2 each will give us 400,000 will give us $400,000. So we have to close this. That's authorized. Because most times, what was authorized is not the same amount that is what issued out. So that is why we also have to show our issued share capital. And remember the next one ordinary share, um, issued share capital. Remember the issued share capital is $180,000. Ordinary shares at two dollar each. So two dollar, two dollar times one eighty thousand shares will give us three sixty thousand dollars. Okay. So this right hand side will be the asset, and the only asset they have here, you see, is the bank. The balance carried out for the bank is three sixty thousand. So have bank. $360,000. So, $360,000. So, $360,000 and $360,000 in balance automatically.